this is going to be hopefully a good one. But no matter how it turns out, uh, I am very happy that I participated in this tournament. I very much so like it. And I uh, want to do more tournaments. Maybe not every week. I can't even do it every week. But this has been a lot of fun. We could play aggro, but no, 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 no. I think I might just go for aerial specialist and add some chaff in the first turn. So this is also a good pack. Let's actually go for it. Let's play some cost control instead. My opponent has Arclights and Stormcrawlers and I've had to guess he's going to add Marksman, which basically would mean he's all out of chaff. Nah, on the second thought, I think he's not going to add uh, that. Uh, I think he is going to add some uh, uh, chaff of his own. Because it would be very difficult, I think, for him to hold on uh, uh, in the later rounds if he had no chaff in the first few turns. He would have to use his later deployments on that. And then you are just very much so behind on the chaff game. Let's go back. One, two, three, four. I think I can position a bit more aggressively. And then already have some delayed chaff here. That should do it for me. Yeah, he added chaff. I guess it is decent enough chaff to maybe take the phoenixes out. I don't think he will get to take the phoenixes out, but I might also get surprised. You never know with this game. Phoenixes are going to work, and if the phoenixes can take out all the fangs, which might happen, I think it's going to happen on this side, uh, the phoenixes will actually carry the entire turn. They are not going to do it on this side, though. So these phoenixes are really all that I have. Is that enough, all things considered? I think the fangs exposed here are going to all die, and then my phoenixes take the turn and negate some uh, uh, 220, 230 damage. And instead deal 200 damage to my opponent, which is really nice. But honestly... I think I had a good pack there. Not super amazing, but good against my opponent. Mm, nah. None of these really feel good. Should I upgrade these Phoenixes, honestly? And again, I am cost control, so my units aren't really that all amazing. I am more about having many units than having good units. If I had to guess, now he might add some marksmen, at least one, maybe two. Do I just scale up the... Nah, I don't think I can scale up the Phoenix Count. I need some anti-chaff of my own. And I really think that mirroring Stormcallers here is not a bad idea. I could already go for Vulcans, but I think I'm gonna save that for a later turn. Uh, instead, I will buy out and get myself another pack of Crawlers to come in somewhat decently late-ish. Um, and the Stormcallers... What do I want them to oppose? I definitely want them to take out the fangs. So I think putting them somewhat to the inside is actually a decent choice here. Because then they will hopefully uh, kind of go towards the fangs here. And I think that's my turn. He added range on arc lights, So he also added more arc lights and more chaff. Which is totally reasonable. Did he pick a card? He did not. I think this turn should be going more nicely for me, simply because of the storm callers. But uh, he also has more fangs. Then again, the fangs are going to push ahead. Yeah, there's already too few fangs left, I think, to do this. So that should be another win for me. Although everything I have on the ground is probably going to die. No, actually no. There were some delayed chaff units coming in, so I have a couple of Stormcallers left. Deployment spec is probably really good for me. I think that is value. But I should be thinking about what is my more or less late game composition. I almost feel like going into... I can't double Vulcan this turn, but I feel like going into something like an Overlord might be good here. But I also need a front line on the ground. 
Do I want to build tanks into range arc lights? I don't think so. I really don't. But what do I want to do on the ground? I think I'm holding the ground of one more turn. And instead, uh, let's save some money and just add more. Uh, uh, well, that's also not particularly good. Maybe what I should do is go for some arc lights of my own. Uh, get free arc lights, add them to my own units. Uh, so this is one in front of the fangs. Do I actually want that? I think I want it uh, further back. Add some arc lights of my own. And uh, honestly, let save the money. He has another arc light. He also has all the carry techs. So we may be looking at an arc light carry here. Oh, is that getting targeted? Maybe it is too far ahead. Now nah, I think that was more going for the crawlers. So I should probably put some more chaff up front here. Crawlers in the middle getting destroyed by the arc light. However, now my arc lights uh, are gone down. And the phoenixes are once again somewhat exposed. I wonder if I can win this one. Hmm. I think there's no fangs left. Oh, that is bitter. Bitter. Those phoenixes at basically 0 HP. Yeah. Yeah. That was oh, that was so unfortunate for my opponent. Well, here he gets his carry unit. Uh, I would be all but surprised if he doesn't go for the marksman. And I think this is my cue to go for the Mustangs, maybe. Could also go for Marksmen of my own. It's not like I'm super duper invested into these Phoenixes. They have no text, there's just two packs, and I can simply remove them if I want to go for a different carry unit. And I think I'm going to do that. I think I will legitimately sell out of the Phoenixes. And instead put some marksmen there. And I will already give them enhanced range. So they stay out of trouble for a bit. And I think this is also now the turn. Where I can start going into some giants. Which giant would be the best one for me? Or do I just war factory this one? Like legitimately I think war factory might not be a bad choice. But I don't really necessarily think it's... You know what? Let's do another turn of saving money. Let us simply... Add a bunch of marksmen this turn. Which hopefully makes my opponent think. Um, <laughs> well, you're selling them is okay. And yeah, uh, let's call that our turn. He went in on the stags, okay. I really expected you to go into the marksmen. Yeah, maybe range on our own arc lights is now a good call. Because we don't exactly have the best chaff clear. Then again, I think if I go in for a war factory next turn, he has nothing on the board that can really compete with it. <laughs> Why? They're awesome. Legitimately. Marksmen are awesome. They are so good. Some good skills. I think I'm actually going for the incendiary here. Because uh, my opponent has a lot of Mustangs. And I would like him to not have a lot of Mustangs. So let's put that here. Let us sell out of these Phoenixes. And now suddenly we have enough money to get two war factories. And also put the efficient maintenance on it. Almost as if it had been planned. It hasn't been planned. Not even one bit, let me assure you. Uh, but pretty amazing, I think. For real, this has not been planned, but it just worked out very well. Oh, he got heavy Mustangs, so they won't die to the fire quickly. They are basically tanks. Still think that my arc lights need range, but this is not the turn for it.
So, he has added elite marksmen on those arcs. I want to finish this one quickly, because if his marksmen scale out of control, it's basically going to be a repeat of what happened in one of my games. 